this your 10 second initiation retro? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! Who is he? It's... Retro. The home domain awareness hacker? That retro? Yes. We told you that already? Yeah, I never listened.
what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system... Always in the system. Holy shit! He went for it! He won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level.
What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? This is bullshit. Just... gonna drop a little backdoor into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Ethan's out cold. We got an intruder. Lock down the exit and send someone to check him out. Right there. Help him. 
Where the fuck am I going? Josh! Okay, okay. Fuck you, Bloom! In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. <laughs> Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck! I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. You what? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo.
Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what, are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king this motherfucker. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Hello? Whose phone is this? It's your new phone. Where's my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hackerspace. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. Place am I in?
they kept saying they would keep playing, but the storm was getting too heavy, so they, they ran off stage after like four songs, and about 50,000 of us tried leaving the park all at the same time. It was a total fucking nightmare. Hey, uh, you can change in the back. Have a good one. I, I didn't have an umbrella. What the fuck? <laughs> so she turns to me and it's like, see these things in the palm of location and the passcode for the door.
This pinche sucks, man. Pinche vato! Yo, you interested in taking a turn? We need one more person to play. It's one of those new German games. Yeah? Shit, that's Free Road. It won a golden ace. I'd love to, but I'm kind of running late. Eh, fair enough. Hey, hello. Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this is happening. You better get to it. Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So it was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely. of technology. A 3D printer. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of little weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up.
Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And wrench? Good engineer, too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator, or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. <laughs> nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers and follow. Followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. De acuerdo, pero. Is he ruining the city? Uh huh. What was I saying? Oh, right. Am I right? I told him. How can people keep buying this new Dawn bullshit? It's obviously a money making scheme disguised as a New Age church. These things usually target the uneducated and the elderly. But I'm seeing intelligent, well-spoken celebrities flock to it. What is going on? 
And how do I get in on the profit? Come on, Bobo. Say it ain't so. Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. It's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. Yeah, maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. Yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hacker's ways. I'm on my way. Just one dollar will help. that? <laughs> Don't move! Hey! Over here! We got I a trespasser! 
Your choice.
Think I won't take you down? I've floored pumps twice your size. I don't care who you are. Then the car. Now, I'm in dental work, which even if I still have my insurance, that one would be covered. Pretty well. Nice day. Glad to hear it.
I need you. We've got it. Come on! We can take Squad, be advised that a possible suspect or suspects have been reported near your location. 
Have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. You're right. We need quiet. Have you, have you seen it yet? No, nah, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. A simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is... Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is going to help us do it. Real? Wouldn't have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, cyber child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is CyberDriver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could deal with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set.
guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool. He said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DedSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios. Okay, guys, I'm in. Here we go. Nice. The not so secret emails. Just not, right? That's what you do. He looks at you, 
My friend you just killed. Ah, so you're Yvonne We're uh, running out of organic kills from this craft table. Could you please send out one of the PA sets in one?
I found it. We got the full script of Cyber Driver. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but it doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. Paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly. Marcus, our follower count is growing fast. How many are actually giving us access to their computers? All of them. That's the point. They give us access to their power. We grow a network of computers that makes us stronger. Our own giant cloud computing network. So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor? We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power. But never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. Yeah, but we look out for our own, man. That's why people are joining our movement. To make a statement against the technocrats. If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> uh, 
Hella cool. Coolosity. All right. I sent you the GPS of the car's route.
Oh, man, this car, this car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? Hmm? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack of sided scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilee has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but, man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it... What? Oh, man. Oh, I know it! <laughs> I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You are not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow. Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> the car's designed for autonomous control, but nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal. Not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. The social organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention.
Guys, has DedSec ever run a Farmingtons op? Farmingtons? Why would we? No idea. But it looks like they've been firing employees who take even a passing interest in us. That's probably illegal. I'm gonna visit one of their pharmacies and see if I can get into the company system. Find out what's going on behind the scenes there. Hey, um, while you're there, I have a few prescriptions that need refilling under Josh's name, of course. Have you been stealing my pills? What? Oh, that's... no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Forget asked. All right. Nice. <laughs> that was disgusting. True. Uh, gotta watch where I'm going. Oh.
This should come in handy. Hey, Marcus, me wrench in the garage when you're ready. Will do. Hackers love a challenge. Guys, let's fire it up. Jump in, baby. The water's fine. Are you rugged? You get the hammer. Hell yeah. Okay. Hey, everything's set up. Ready? And set! Go! You know what this needs? Atmosphere. Stay out 
step back, kitties. I'm not your mommy's smart car. shouldn't have risked the reputation by dealing with the studio at all. It's okay, Josh. You know why? No, Satara. Why? We're gonna hit him where it giga hurts. <laughs> well, I need help. Be advised that a possible suspect or suspects have been reported near your location. Listen up! I'm in a clipping! Stand by! Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This is a good target. Yeah, but was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but I don't know, there's, I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com. The channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> you ask them. I mean, come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. 
I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. Yo! Come to see the magic happen? I'll let you watch while I do my thing. If you wanted magic, maybe you should be watching me work. Ho ho! Did Luke ride on Yoda's back? I think not. I was always more of a Lando man myself. Owned the Millennium Falcon, ran Cloud City, blew up the second Death Star. Killer mustache. Killer mustache. I'm more of a chewy guy myself. Rips off arms, handy with a hydro spanner, more hairy than an 80s Greek porno. <laughs> I can see that. Do you want to? I still have some old tapes. Uh, I'm good. Marcus, those nude on parasites got our recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy's discussed greatest fits? Uh, say it ain't so. What are we gonna do about it? Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute, and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. <laughs> New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown, annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, New Dawn's a fucking scam. The rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean, when I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude! Me too! I even have the lunchbox. Shh, nice. Mint condition. Nice. Just not, not Cisco. Okay, just anyone but him. There's, please. there's gotta be another way, all right? I don't know. He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. You can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Cisco tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. Okay, okay. We focus on Cisco. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center. We just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. Hey, <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. Untouchable. That will soon change. DeathSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. No more. DeathSec will give you the truth. Do what you will.
original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists... Hey, Marcus, I got something to show you. Am I gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon. Or more specifically, Bloom and its CTOS. I've been overseeing operations, making sure people get to where they need to be with the tools they require. I've got eyes on the big picture. The way I see it, I've lit the fuse. It's only a matter of time before Bloom feels the dead sec explosion. Distracting enough for you? Yeah. You gonna go inside and take a peek, or? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. Buy enlightenment! It only costs your life savings! All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DedSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please. My bad. Oh, that was me. Sorry.
spread out. Where do you think? Guys, I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are. But this is something different. They wire themselves after these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First, I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Siska impression. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have time now. I'll be in touch. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy, right, right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too... Unstable for a session, if you catch my drift. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get you. Violent Man, violence, Diane. Yes, Seattle I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon, I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Hey, Working on it. Searching for the suspect. 
suspect now. Squad, we found the suspect's car. He's gone. Finish your beer first, you're disqualified. And you can't drive and drink at the same time, so you've got to stop wherever you are and drink <laughs> and risk being overtaken. Josh. Recent leaks of confidential emails has had unexpected consequences for HMP Studios. Contents of the documents expose an ongoing contentious collaboration with Galilei, the company responsible for the expensive high tech car featured in the studio's latest blockbuster, Cyber Driver. The emails reveal that a studio executive referred to the car as a useless lemon and threatened legal action against the space company. There was good news for HMP Studios, however. Following the hack, interest around the movie spiked, making CyberDriver the surprise hit of the year. Police say that the studio has yet to press charges against the hacker group. We'll keep you posted. Ha, 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 ha. 